Hey everybody, I'm here with Logger as usual. Today we're at Bark After Dark uh, here in Marietta, Georgia. Uh, we're gonna make some friends and of course have some great beer. Let's go Logger. Well, Logger's 50th friend that he met today is Kelly. Yes. And you're with who? Smyrna Pop House. Smyrna Pop House. Yes. And what do you guys do there? Um, so we do pet sitting, dog walking, and grooming. Okay. Um, so for Logger here, if he needed a bath, we could take care of him. If he needed to be uh, pet care overnight, like while you go out of town, we can take care of that. Or let's just say you need an extra sit during the day. You're going to be gone for 12 hours during the day. We got him covered. I love it. Yeah. Well, that's very handy, so thank you. And what are you drinking? Um, I'm oh, you drinking, think that you think you're drinking? I'm drinking Crispin Cider. Great. Yeah. And so we talked briefly before this, and you said you were a big fan of the ciders in general yep. uh, because they're a little less hoppy. Right. So you tend to like wine. Yes. Right. Sweet so, stuff. Right. Anything so that's sweet. I'm finding the most interesting part is the breweries having to become more female-friendly. Yes. And the way they're doing that is doing stuff like fruit beers, sours, uh, beers brewed with grape plus, so basically wine-based beers, uh, so, and so ciders. So and, and it all started with, I think, with the gluten-free craze. So it started the gluten-free craze, right. and restaurants, had to, you had to be gluten-free, or, or you're going broke. Right. And, but now everything, even from the packaging, to the beer to the brewing, to the color of the beer, it's becoming more female-friendly. Specifically for people like like you, Kelly, who like say, oh, I don't like beer. I love going to breweries, right? <laughs> right. But I don't like the beer that I'm drinking. Right. It's too hoppy. I like more fruit. Exactly. Um, and that's exactly what a lot of breweries are starting to do. Yeah. Well, like, have you ever heard of Urban Tree Cidery? Love Urban Tree. Okay. So Urban Tree, um, I've been there several times, and they are basically a cider brewery. That's what right. they do. Sure. And it's so great. It's so delicious. And you say it's female friendly, um, which yes, granted, more females drink cider than males. And cider typically is a, a female drink per se, um, like most sweet drinks. But with that being said, honestly, like I think it's just a taste palette thing. Um, no, and it's, it's so refreshing in the summer. Oh, versus, like, I love a dark, it. Oh, beer. I'm totally on board with you. And I'm not, and I didn't mean to sound like sexist oh, when no, I said no, no. like, no. oh, like it's a, it's a girl drink. Right. But you it know. is. It's a free food drink. <laughs> but I think what it is, is it's becoming more palatable. Yes. So breweries have to adapt and, and become more palatable. Mm -hmm. Because if that's the only way that you're going to be able to have people that don't like beer right. drink beer. Right. Because you got to start with something palatable and then move on to something like a wheat ale. And right. then move on to something like a lighter IPA. And next thing you know, you're drinking double, quadruple IPAs with Sweet five different IPA types of hops or, yeah. and whatever, and it's Sam a Adams. right, yeah, sure. Uh, but uh, I really appreciate the fact that you're even enjoying cider, oh, uh, which is still beer. It's yes. just apple based instead right. of like whatever. Uh, so I still appreciate you doing that. Uh, thanks for talking to me today, of course. and cheers. Enjoy cheers. the rest of your day, you Kelly. Too. All right. Thanks for having me. Thank you. This is probably Logger's favorite person he's met so far. Yeah. Who are you once again? I'm Kristen. I'm the assistant manager over at Dress Up at the Battery. Beautiful. Yes. And what do you guys do at Dress Up? I know you guys so, are a clothing store. Yes, we're a women's clothing boutique. Uh, we get 65 new arrivals every single week. We have 19 locations in the southeast. And everything's below $50. Well, that's yes. pretty great. Can't beat it. Okay. Yes. I, I need a men's dress up. So need something work like on that. that. Yes. We right can now, work all on I can that. use are your heart-shaped sunglasses. Yes. So I need best something better than that. We can work on that. Okay. Uh, so we were talking earlier, and yes. you were mentioning that, you know, look, I'm not a big beer fan, yeah. but you really if like I have a, to. Right. 
and your beer was a natty yes, light yeah. strawberry lemonade. Yes. But so it's been it's been a really great place for me to go to today yeah. because I've been talking to a lot of people and everybody here it's very female oriented here yes. today. Lots of women here today and they love coming to these different events. Yes. But breweries have got to step up they do. and brew more stuff that's female friendly. They do. And some of them are. Yeah. They and are. like and you know what? And I gotta I don't do this very often, mm -hmm. but props to Natty Light for making a beer that you enjoy. Yes. Right? That I enjoy. It's refreshing. It's it doesn't have that bitter beer taste. So like but I find it very, very similar to like the gluten free craze. Yeah. You know, where restaurants had to become gluten free. Yes. You have to adapt. If you're not, mm -hmm. then you're gonna you're gonna be gone and people yeah. are gonna talk going to you. Yeah. Breweries uh -huh. are now having to become female friendly. Yes. And it if they're not, criticism. right, it makes more fit. It's a good business decision. Yeah. So with that, uh, there's some really great breweries that are doing some great fruit based beers. Definitely. They're starting to brew beer with stuff like Great Must, mm -hmm. uh, with fruit itself. Yes. Ciders, mm -hmm. right? Uh, I do like the hard ciders. Those are good too. Right. So mm -hmm. like here they have a Crispin cider. Yeah. But there's also like Urban Tree cider. Mm -hmm. So like they are a whole brewery basically yes. that's based on cider. Mm -hmm. um, Dry County, I know they're doing like a neon neon. Even with the packaging, mm -hmm. like they're making it pink. pink right? Really? I like pink. They're making it pink, yes. right? Because like, let's just be honest, a lot of women, uh, they kind of learn from the wine industry mm -hmm. because women tend to buy wine. They do. By the label. Yes. It is what it is. Yeah. You know, uh, I, whether it's, uh, if it's pink yep. or if the label's pink mm -hmm. or if it's then they like something it. like women the rose or so good. skinny yes. or, skinny. or That's like a good one. something like that. Like, <laughs> you know, it, can, it doesn't need to be skinny. Like, they, need, they called it, I think that Nicola Voltra did it wrong by calling Nicola Voltra yeah. and they just need to call it skinny beer. Skinny beer. And then like, it'd be more it'd be female so friendly. Better. Right. Thank you so much again yeah, for talking yeah, to me. No uh, you've definitely been Logger's favorite yeah. person to talk to you so far. My favorite so far. Too. Well. Thank you. Uh, I'm glad that he's helped me get to meet you. Yes. So yes. thank you. Thank you for having me. Thank you again so much. Yeah, no All problem. Right. Well, I wish I could cheers you, but you're working. Yes, I know. Um, so am I. I'm working. Now. Yeah, I'm working really, really hard today. Yes. Yeah. Fun so job. thank you again. Yeah, no problem. All right. This is uh, Logger's 1,000th friend that he's met today, so congratulations on that. Yes. Uh, what was your name? Uh, Shannon. Dog or cats? Oh, definitely dogs. Definitely dogs. So I have American Scores here. Yes. What's your dog's name? Her name is America's Scores Life. <laughs> wow. You're that girl. Yeah. <laughs> that gives her dogs four names. It really is okay. So yeah. why do you, did you? Is it because you just love beer so much? Oh my god. <laughs> Stop the video. We're done. She likes Tom Brady. We are done with this. Tom Brady does not belong on this YouTube channel at all. <laughs>